Max Muncy is having a weird season so far, and while some may point to injuries as a source of his statistical oddities, I would encourage those people to take a look at last year's numbers as well. No, I would say Max Muncy has morphed into a unique hitter, or should I say, a uniquely modern hitter, one who can be productive despite some hair-raising surface stats. Let's start with those numbers, shall we? First, the obvious a 198 average, south of the Mendoza line, and second to last among regular LA lineup members. 20 years ago, this would have meant a surefire demotion from his everyday role, and maybe even a release, as would his 18th percentile K rate of 27.4%. He's literally not putting the ball in play in over a quarter of his at-bats. Additionally, even the more advanced XBA doesn't look very promising. It currently sits at 230, so it's not like he's getting unlucky out there. And what's more, his defense, which has been solid for most of his career, has been pretty bad this season, with an OAA in just the 9th percentile league-wide and a negative 5 DRS as the Dodgers' regular third baseman. So, Muncy is having a tough year. For the general fan, let's hope he bounces back. Or if you're a fan of a different NLS team, let's hope he stays right there, right? Well, not so fast, because underneath the hood of the Muncy Mobile is an engine that might not be firing on all cylinders, but still is very much roaring along. His OPS Plus right now is 114. That means, despite all of his struggles, he's still been 14% better than a league average hitter. Sure, that might not approach his peak 130 to 160 levels, but it's still pretty solid. Add in 21 dingers in 72 games, and an 807 OPS largely built on the back of a 476 slugging, and you start getting a bit of a different impression of the big guy's numbers. This mention of OPS brings me to my next point, the other aspect of the stat, that on-base percentage. Muncy's currently sits at 331, again a solid number, better than guys like Rafael Devers, Austin Riley, and Luis Robert. So why is it so high? To put it simply, Muncmeat is taking a lot of walks, and I do mean a lot. His base on ball percentage of 15.4% is elite, in the 97th percentile in the MLB. This has led to him posting a plus 10 on both chase and waste pitches, according to Baseball Savant, helping partially to offset his atrocious negative 11 on shadow pitches. Basically, the guy is being selective and benefiting tremendously from it. So, what should Max Muncy do going forward? Should he seek to reclaim his former glory as a Dark Horse MVP candidate, looking to hoist the team on his back deep into the playoffs as the Dodgers have so rarely done in recent years? I personally don't think so. At nearly 33, I think Max's prime days are behind him, and that's okay. Now, he doesn't need to put up a 135 OPS plus, with hitters like Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman and JD Martinez to flank him. No, for Muncy, I'd say the most important thing has to be continuing to bring that pure pop that rivals even those guys, and an on-base percentage that complements them. Essentially, he needs to continue to be a Joey Gallo disciple, and I think if that leads to a good playoff campaign from LA, everyone involved will be very happy overall.